On this video, I want to talk about how to get local business owner leads. And if you're watching this, maybe you're a business owner, maybe you own a landscaping company or a concrete company or a tiling company or whatever kind of company it is. Um, this is for you. I'm going to talk about a strategy that you can use on this video. If you are somebody on the other hand that it doesn't actually own a local service business, but you are either looking to get into this model, you're looking to start providing leads for these businesses, or you're already in this business and you're looking to increase the leads that you're getting, this is also going to be applicable for you. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of direct this at the business owner as somebody, and I would love, and I'd really appreciate if you guys have a business owner friend, if you have a a colleague, if it's a family member, I don't care who it is, share this video with them. This is some really practical free tips that I want to give these people. Um, and I'm going to start by saying this, and, and I'm assuming I'm assuming that you have a website. Now, if, if I, you're watching this video, you don't have a website, that's a really good starting point. You got to have a website. It's 2023. Uh, at the time of recording this, we can't pretend that websites aren't a thing anymore. You have to have a website. So if you don't have a website, go do that and then you can watch this video. But for those of you that have a website, um, I want to give you guys a couple of, of, of suggestions. So first and foremost, those of you that have websites, some of the most common things that I have seen is a lot of people have websites and maybe you're a lead generator, maybe you're a local business owner, you're in some small-ish city, you rank fairly well, right? We're not talking necessarily about ranking on this video. We're talking about uh, websites and, and, and people, how to get local business leads. Maybe you have a website that's showing up for some of the keywords and you, you keep seeing your website at the top of Google, but you're like, why am I not getting any leads? Couple of things that I have seen uh, that can really, really help is what we have to remember, guys, if we're getting a lot of traffic to our website, if you guys are getting a lot of visitors to come to your website, and if you're ranking for most of the top keywords in your city, you're probably getting traffic. What it means, you're probably not getting any conversions, you're not getting leads, and that is a problem. Some of the most common things that I've seen, in fact, the number one thing that I can suggest to get you more leads if you're watching this video, is take your phone number, take that phone number that's on your website. And in my, in my opinion, you should be using a tracking number, but if you're a local business owner and you're using your cell phone, that's totally fine. Although uh, I would go and type in tracking phone number softwares. I use one currently called callrail.com. This will allow you to actually track your phone calls, forward them to your wife or your secretary or your husband when you're out of town, do a number of different things. Um, but that phone number, my guess is that if you're watching this video and you're a local business owner and maybe even a lead generator, your phone number is probably in the top left corner, kind of in this hidden spot. Okay. And to you, it's like, yeah, that's just where it should be because that's where everyone else does it. Here's my number one suggestion is take that phone number. You can leave it there if you want, but on the very top part of your website, that very first fold, I want you to put your phone number right there. And I want you to put it in as big a font as you possibly can as big a font as your website builder will, will have you do it. Now, if you are paying a company, tell them to do this and they're going to fight back and they're going to go, well, it doesn't look good. Who cares? If your website looks good, but doesn't generate any leads and what's the value of a website, it's worth nothing. It's just costing you money. Take the phone number, make it as big as you can, make it the centerpiece of the website. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make it a click to call number. What that means is if someone's viewing it on mobile, they can literally just touch it and then they could push call and it will call directly to your phone number, okay? Now, the next thing that I would do is I would go and I would underline, I would do the underline formatting on that phone number because sometimes it's click to call, but if you don't underline it, people don't, it doesn't register, maybe this is click to call. Guys, if you do this one simple thing, you are gonna see infinitely more leads. It's going, and it sounds so stupid, it sounds so silly, it sounds so dumb, and I see people, even lead generators, they're trying to make these websites look all cute and fancy, and they forget that until somebody calls you, until somebody actually rings your phone, you are not making money. And so I don't care what it looks like, I don't care that it's not pretty. If you can't get people to call you, then you are not gonna make money and your business owner is not gonna make money. And if you're a business owner watching this, you have your own website, it's ranking, who cares? If they're not calling you looking for pricing, 
you cannot make money. You cannot make money unless you're asking more people for money. You cannot ask more people for money unless more people are calling you, asking you for estimates. So that's period. That's number one. Number two, this is another thing. And, and this for the lead generators is probably going to be an obvious one, but for you business owners, go to your website and whoever built it, they probably did some dumb little box that says contact us. Okay. Do not use a contact us box. Instead of a contact us box, make it an instant quote form. Simple. I know it sounds subtle. Contact us and instant quote, but it's very, very different. Contact us when you read that goes, hey, call me and solicit me. Here's my name. Here's my phone number. Who's going to type? No one's going to do that. It doesn't look like it's going to happen soon. Now you're going to bug them. It doesn't sound, but if you do an instant quote form and you structure it properly, you ask one or two questions. For example, if you have concrete, what I like to ask is at the first thing is, what are you looking to have done? Concrete driveway, concrete patio, concrete sidewalk, or other. And the second question is like, how many square feet, how, approximately how many square feet? And you put four or five options or three or four options or one or two options. And then you say name, phone number, email, submit, or get quote. It almost gets people to think that if they click that button, they're going to get an instant price emailed or text to them. Almost. And what I do is when people submit that, we have, you know, it, 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 when we're doing the lead transfer in the beginning, we'll immediately call that phone, that, that person, and we'll say, hey, this is, uh, this is Nick with Evergreen, uh, or not Evergreen, this is Nick with Las Vegas Concrete calling to give you that instant quote. What do you got? Boom, we're rolling right into it. And they're like, yeah, well, I just wanted you to email. Oh, well, we're giving you an instant quote. That would have taken too long. What do you got? We just roll into it, man. And what I would recommend is that, this instant quote form, don't hide it at the bottom. Don't put it on the contact us page. Put it on every single page and put it in a position where if you are on a desktop, the very first thing you could see, you could see the first fold, you could see the phone number, and then you can see the instant quote form on every single page on the desktop. And then on the mobile, I want to be able to see your phone number. And then the very next thing, when I scroll down, I want to go to that quote form. If you guys will do these two things, I don't care if you're a lead generator trying to get more leads. I don't care if you're a business owner trying to get more leads. You're, you're a concrete guy, a landscaper, or your name is freaking Megan, and you're trying to increase your leads for your customers or on your lead generation websites. And you've got websites that are ranking and they just don't seem to be putting off leads, but you know there's leads in that area because you've looked at the research and you've looked at the population try these two things. And if you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about, go to one of my websites, go to bentonvilleconcrete.com. Go and look at what I'm talking about. Model what I'm doing. Keep in mind, I've done it wrong for years and it took me doing it wrong again and again and again and again and again and again to learn how to do it right. These two things will literally produce infinitely more leads if you are struggling getting leads, whether you're a contractor, or whether you're a lead generator, I'm out.